In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stop giving up one play touchdowns whenever you play trips tight in in Madden 24. I think this is a super underrated tip, and uh, especially if they're oddling the trips tight in and you want to be base aligned when you defend it. In my opinion, I think baseline is the best way to play defense every single year because it does not give a pre snap tell to your opponent of what you are doing. However, the problem with that, especially if you're in this like cover two press, is against a formation like trips tight in. You see that because they spread us out like this, we get this misalignment here to the left side. This is kind of the problem that we want to solve because unfortunately you'll see we get a misstep and we can give up these big plays here to the left side. Now, the other really underrated part of this is a lot of times what ha ends up happening as well is let's say, uh, let's say for example, we're going to put that guy on the left there in an outside third. Uh, so we're going to play like cover three to the left side. What a lot of times can happen, um, and you see it a little bit more in game, you might not see it here 100%, but a lot of times what can happen is that deep defender can take a misstep and this guy can get a step on top of him. Doesn't get it there, but trust me in game, this is a real, real problem. And so I wanted to just give a simple solution for how to, how to deal with this. Let me show you one other thing before we get into it. Again, if they go cover three here to the right, this also affects, you know, like your seam streaks and stuff. So you'll see here, a lot of people really like this throw over the top. Now, one solution is have mid zone KO because mid zone KO is really, really good when paired with deep out zone KO. But the solution we're going to give you today, I think is really, really good uh, for this. So we're going to go back to our, our play. We're going to come out and cover three because I like to I like to base out of uh, cover three right now. I think it's really good. The cover three buzz in dollar, I think, is super underrated. So uh, we're going to go out, come out, cover three buzz, spy out a dollar. We're base aligned, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to press and we're going to pinch our defense. So from here, this is kind of our standard alignment that we want to have defensively against a lot of formations. Now, what I like to do, um, what I like to do uh, to fix this problem here to the left side, there's a couple of options, but I think the easiest option is we are going to man up the outside corner on the outside receiver. What you're going to see is he moves to the left. And then we're going to outside quarter him. He's going to move slightly inside, but nowhere near as far inside as he was. And so now what you'll see is there's literally no throwing lane to be able to hit you on the left-hand side. I think this is a super, super important tip when defending trips tight end. Um, I'm going to give you one other solution if you want to kind of bait somebody. This is a trips defense that I personally really like, and I think it's really, really effective. Um, this is a little bit of an aggressive adjustment, but I do think it's still good. So what we're going to do, is we're going to man up that outside cornerback on the triangle receiver, as you can see on the slot. We're going to then man up the slot corner on the inside trips receiver, as you can see. And then we're going to take the safety and man him up on the outside trips receiver. So you see, this is what it kind of looks like. So instead of using a deep half, what we're going to do is we're going to use a cross man adjustment. And I cannot tell you how many times they throw this out here thinking it's a half and it ends up being an interception or a KO every single time. So those are two different methods that I like to use when defending trips tight end type sets where they get this really bad misalignment to uh, just get things more in our favor. One of the other things um, that I wanted to talk about just briefly here is the, the snap throw verticals route. The best way, in my opinion, to defend that is we're just going to take this um, linebacker and we're just going to man him up onto the triangle receiver. Okay, this is also going to help when defending RPOs. But what you'll see is they try to throw this and and that guy has a lurk artist. It's going to be an interception every single time. So those are some simple adjustments that I really like to use against trips tied in to take away some of the most problems that they cause when we're in a baseline defense. Thanks for watching the video. To check out the Patreon where we break all of this stuff down in detail and give you the entire defensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. It gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates. Anytime something new is, comes out, we always put it in the Patreon for you guys. That is available in the description below.